Good morning, evening, and afternoon, everybody. We're jumping right in here to round number two with our sweet green-white deck that didn't get quite the shake it deserved in round one. So uh, we're going to let our opponent go first because we're cool like that. And then, uh, yeah, let's see what's up. Yeah, let's take a look at uh, the deck real quick while we're waiting. Pretty good. Uh, that too is pretty good. Go ahead and keep that. Could use a flyer, but I'm pleased. I think we jam servant on turn one here. Get aggressive. as well. Oh. Awkward. We'll just gain a life. should have uh, played Inoc Guide or Whisper and gotten him up to a 1-3 or him up to a 3-3, uh, three, three, actually. And now we're just going to take 4. This is kind of how our last game began. With a seemingly innocuous, you know, sequencing error. Or, um, yeah. Yeah. We can't, if we draw land next turn, we can untap, play Enduring Scale Lord, and then, you know, minus Reach of Shadows or some such, but, you know, our last opponent got all the Reach of Shadows. So, I think we're safe there. I think Enduring Scale Lord will actually do work this game. Shaman a 3-4. Seems alright. And if he uses removal, that too is fine. Sweet. Mm. Oh no, just a gin. Yeah, got that land. Got there. Let's add green white. And one, two, three, four. Cast this guy. He's huge, y'all. Turn four, six drop. What, what? Yeah, feels good. Especially since... Maybe the call is to bolster the Shaman and then just get a counter anyway. Does he have two spells that he can cast for four mana combined? We'll find out. Douse. Alright, well, our dragon's going bye bye. Oh, come on! 
No. That was weak. That was real weak. Yeah, not, uh, not real crazy about that one. Clearly, I meant, uh, you know, I, I don't know what dictates when the uh, the little mana pool pops up here. I don't know. Clearly, I meant to cast both uh, of those using one white mana for each. But uh, Shaman of the Forgotten Ways had his own ideas. Good thing he put Reach of Shadows <laughs> into the graveyard. Would have been terrible. That's a bummer, man. Good old Lightwalker coming through. Man, that rebound. Uh, probably going to tap down the... Uh, no? Again? I don't have any cards in hand. It doesn't really do much. Oh well. I've uh, made worse plays so far in this draft. So, you know, glass houses and statements about color of the pot by the kettle and such. Yeah, we have a 1-1. One, one. What up? It's getting real. lethal all right game one went really well we uh, tossed away our enduring scale Lord's life for nothing and still won so uh, I'm willing to call that a victory versus our opponent I don't think we have enough dragons to really dependably get scale guard sentinels to be a 3-4. Uh, a 2-3 three, two, three for 2 is pretty solid, though. Is that just better than, like, Whisperer? 
I mean, Whisperer is great, but we've got Shaman, too. Like, no. I think our dorks are pretty good. This guy is just lame. I mean... Nah. The flying, though. You see, we have... We need to have a good uh, assortment of flyers. Light Walker, you know, potentially the Monument, uh, Spirit Token, and then our dragons up here. So, yeah, we have flyers throughout our curve as well. We've got uh, all our colors and some playable spells. We will keep it. Ooh, Echoes. Is that a better play than Whisperer? Maybe. No, because you know, then we can ramp into, you know, like Mage and Echoes on turn four. monument. Now we just need something to ramp into. I mean, we can just make a huge amount of mana and keep on bolstering. And then bolster and <laughs> put a plus one, plus one on everything that we control. Seems good. Oh, stuck on mana. Land. Technically. Okay, so we get one, two, three, So we've got uh, four here. So we can play both the Monument and the Echoes. Good stuff. Pretty good stuff. is kind of getting beat up. Okay, so we've got one, two, three. I think we bolst, we cast mage and then, you know, get our plus one, plus one counter on our spirit. tap and uh, yeah, do quite a we can bolster twice or uh, bolster and sandcrafter mage which might be the call because then this guy will get a counter and then we can make him a 3-3 three, three. and attack gosh our opponent is just not feeling the love alright so 2, 4, 6, 7 mana we could cast both of these. That might be good. That's a lot of damage. Oh yeah. Wow. That guy got big fast. All right, and that is how we imagined the deck running when we were drafting it, going gall. <laughs> Echoes of the Kintry was. I don't know, pretty replaceable in a hand where you draw two Sandcrafter mages, but it's nice to have that, you know, all the synergies here, because these are uh, 
Sandstep Outcast just straight up won the game. Well, our opponent not playing lands won the game, but, you know, it happens. It's part of the game as well. Uh, so, we're back on the hype train. We're going to get round three. We're going to win two packs and keep, uh, keep the value springing eternal. All right, thank you for watching. As always, I hope that you are subscribed to the channel. Never miss a draft. Never miss a standard daily video. Uh, and, yeah, we'll see you next time. Have fun and do well.